Welcome back on Dynamod. Today I want to propose you a video about uh, the unboxing review about the Vedas issue from the 93 list by the Game Social for October 2023. So this is about, and uh, I like quite a lot the cover that it's written about the Nights. There are some things related about the Nights inside, but not quite a lot. And we can see that inside there are some things that are two inserts that, as usual, I don't like how they have been put because they are in the middle like this. So we have this that it's bring the part about Warhammer 40 k mission, and here about Age of Sigmar. And here are these that are related about the campaign for each similar part and about the bunker part. So it's up to you decide if you're intrigued about. Sincerely, I prefer them out of the way half so that they don't ruin the availability to read quite comfortably. This one still there are and they are really well quite welcome that there are still pay attention. So now we can go to see about the content. Here we can find the alternative code that, that you can have with the subscription that it's the same that we have seen here, simply without any writing or so on, and I quite like it, but remember that you can have only if you make the subscription, so pay attention about. Here we have the introduction about the web app with the introduction about the new campaign of Ejusima that it's a little about Giran. So it's really quite intriguing and it's because something little about a certain campaign of a certain island in Warhammer Fantasy. Okay. So here we can flip and we can find the contents, and uh, they are really quite a lot, sincerely. Here we can flip and we can find the mailing list of the readers to the team of the Wedarf, and I will suggest you to read and moreover see about, because you can find some paintings, some things, some modifying basin or so on that could be really quite intriguing. For example, about such dragon, it's amazing such crudis. Simply, it's the photo that it's not the best, because it uh, me too, I like here and so on, and it doesn't make you have a perceived really about so a bit about the photo because the model. If you see the other parts, it's really quite amazing. As you can see, there are really quite intriguing parts to see, and I always suggest you here there is about an article related about the Rion Fire actually for Ijosima, and here it makes you see how it is so that it's not only a Riam composed of energy of fire only that, but it's quite variegated and so it makes you understand more the nature of the realms themselves. And I quite like this because also it propones you something related about the locations and so on that are related. And some of these you can find also in the Dombringer Crusades, for example, because actually in the Skabdar and these pieces, places also, are something that you can find there. So you can understand better about those things and the thing that it's quite intriguing about. Here inside we had the start about the campaign that it's related about the bunker part. So this is related about being put on Giran and it's related about this island. So we can find the step by step how it's developed and so on. I quite like the idea. Obviously there is the part about the bunker to make you play and so on. But here we can find about so the slide crown that is such island in Giran and how you can progress with the campaign with the path to glory and so on. And sincerely, I suggest you to read the fantastic about the Josima because even if you don't like the campaign itself, they can give you quite a lot of background about. Here there is about Warhammer 40k, the mission that we've seen before, and here the Age of Sigma part, so that we can find both options. And here inside we have some background and rules a little about Warcry. So also here can be really quite intriguing for the ones that play moreover the Warcry part. Sincerely I read because there is a bit of background in the middle so it's quite intriguing. And here there is some stratagems, but some strategies that you can use to play with Age of Sigma, for example. But some of these you can apply without any problem also in Warhammer 40k or other games because it's the concept behind this that it's quite important. So I suggest you eventually to see about. And here about that yeah, it's a new fleet, like a fleet that we can find about that yeah, it's a with the scheme of color song, quite simple one, but really quite intriguing if interested about such color theme. And we can find also later about such one in here. And some examples, so you can find uh, some options on that could be interesting to 
to realize for such pieces. Here are some obby hacks that are quite simple but always welcome, so that you can take this. Here instead we have this that it's about the Warhammer Studio parts, so some armies that you can find. And here I suggest you really to see about because you can find some scheme of color and so on that could be intriguing at least. Or we can find something peculiar, for example we have about the basin here, here, this modify of the librarian with these things that I made something similar in the past but in another options completely so that uh, it was about representing the psychic powers on the librarian and this is really quite intriguing to do because it's a really good way I quite like so you can have quite a lot of options here we start so to see about the edge of Simon part and we can start so about the Giran part so the battle pack a sort of little campaign that you can play with and we've also some scenarios background that you can play so it's really quite intriguing because uh, it can be really nice here we have this that it's about background and uh, it's really intriguing because it's uh, about some charters that we see in the Dumbling Crusades against uh, the Flesh Eater Kutz and uh, I quite like such a little novel it's really quite interesting here we are about the idonet dipkin so how to paint them how to collect them and so on it's an army that uh, it's really quite developed you can use this uh, for the scheme of colors for the basis or so on based on what you need or what you like because you have quite a lot of different options to read as you can see so there are quite a lot of things that you can admire and so you can really personalize and i really quite appreciate for example this it's a really nice combination of what are the Medusae about the uh, better the daughters of Keynes and these models that are related about the Adiona Tipkin. So you can really personalize a lot. I suggest you to see about such steps because they're really quite important. Here we have again about Warcry, and so we have some background that it's always welcome with the band that it's related about the Warcry that it's been released about with rules so again other rules so it's really quite a lot about here we have also about the working flame seekers and here it's a new warband for work that has been released and sincerely i quite like quite like these ones because there are also females one in the middle so you can really quite appreciate them and they are really quite amazing i also like these and really this is something that i suggest you to see because it can be quite nice and even if you don't play work high they could be nice uh, to buy because simply you want the minotaur and so on to paint something peculiar obviously there are also the rules related and there are quite a lot as you can see so there is quite a bit of things and here we've seen this army of tyrants before the painting so it's here so we can find quite a lot of things against the black temple in this case so here we have the Tale of a War World that is related about the Warhammer 40k. Here we can see how it's progressing along. So we will have for sure till April such releasing. And so we have also the bands and I quite like because you can sign, find some shank features, for example such schools or some pieces that you can admire, some scheme of colors. So I use this as a referral and in this way it's really quite uh, intriguing part that I suggest to see. Here we have this that it's a novel related about the Tone Keepers that it's the, I remember you always, the specific chapter Space Marine related about the Wild Art team against in this case that it's so it can be really quite intriguing to read about. So we can flip, we can find this that it's about the Crusade rules to play with the Tone Keepers. So it's uh, not bad because at least you can play some campaign related. It's uh, quite nice. And here we have this that uh, it's a part, uh, it's an article that it's quite long, related about the jump packs, how they develop it and so on. And it's something that uh, it can be really quite intriguing. This it's obviously put because they want to promote the Insector Assault Space Marine. Uh, uh, primaris because I could like this this because uh, the Assad Space Marine with the jump pack are simply the, with the Inceptor in one so it's that one so you can find quite a lot of options inside and here instead we have about the Legion Imperialis so we can call this the epic version of Warhammer 40k that it's called in another way 
So here I mean that each time I see these miniatures, I'm quite intrigued to try eventually to buy some of these to add some of the models that usually are really quite expensive uh, in this way and also big. And so here it's uh, much better to play with. And also here we can find about the battle report that we can play with and the armies. And I always like to see about this because it makes you have an understandable how, how big they can be the battles, even if the models are quite small and it's amazing. I love such ones. I'm really funny about this, even if the gameplay it's not something that I quite like. But if you're interested about knowing about such game, here there is because there is a battle report about and uh, obviously I suggest you to read because it's a good way to know a new game, eventually to understand if you can like the game or for example if you're interested simply about some models because you see this uh, better and so you think that you can really appreciate them and so buy them and so on. So there are quite a lot of things that can be really quite useful and uh, it's always nice, at least you can understand if a game is for you or not. And so here we can move to the crossover campaign about our strategy that improve in the way that you can play with different systems together to play with. So we have with our strategy, we have the legend before and uh, also the imperialist aeronautica so that you can uh, play in different ways with the campaign and so on. So that, uh, for example, here we have the Legend Imperialis, here we have the Orsalesi. So a sort of mini campaign that uh, it has uh, multiple minion tools available and also different skills to play. So I think that uh, it's always uh, quite nice to have something like this. Here we have this that it's a part of a novel of the Black Library. And here I always suggest you to read because uh, you can know new authors or better, new armies, also because maybe you know yet some autos and you can find some other things that can be really quite nice. Know better about some English inventory, you can improve it uh, to read this. So there are quite a lot of things uh, and uh, maybe also some new styles. They can be really quite useful about. Here we have the Inside Studio that will be bring you some anticipation of what we we'll see in the future with AFS. And we can see that there will be also some other tactics about. So it's uh, really quite um, intrigued about. And we know that for sure that the next one is also related about the Raptors Crusade rules. So it can be really quite nice. And from the back over we can see that it's really related about the, we can see, Imperial Guard or better Astronautica Militarium. And here we Astro Militarum and here with the Tinites. So it's something that uh, I quite like. This uh, it's a book that if you understand about the Rus, it's surely quite intriguing because there are quite a lot of things. If you play about the campaign for Hijo Sirma, there are quite a lot of things, Borkrai and so on. And about the Mutus, I think that there are quite a lot because you can find quite a lot of ideas to modify and so on, paint also. So maybe it's not one of the best, but surely it's really quite intriguing. And so I suggest, obviously it's up to you decide if it's worth for you or not. But there are a lot of things. And I think that this is quite worth as a Zoedar. So tell me if you're interested about or not. Anyway, from then mode it's everything. I invite you to subscribe to the channel, to ring the bell so to receive notification about new video to comment under here about this video or if you want to suggest me new videos. So I hope to see you again to the next time.